Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can play PS1 games on your computer. Alright, so let's get started with what you need. You need a PC, a controller, and games. And that's pretty much it. Alright guys, so let's head over to the computer and see how this is done. Alright guys, so we're on our PC right now and uh, we've got this uh, website pulled up up here and this is Mediafire. We've got this link for you guys in the description below and this is the PS1 emulator. We've already got it uh, pretty much uh, set with the BIOS and everything. So all you have to do is just download it and uh, pretty much configure it. So once you download this file, it is a zip format file. So I highly recommend you guys getting WinRAR, but if you do have WinRAR already installed onto your computer, uh, then all you have to do is just open it and just extract the file. I'll provide a link for WinRAR if you guys don't have it. So let's go ahead and uh, open up when we've got this opened up. Let's just extract this file to uh, say our desktop. It really doesn't matter. But since I've already got this file uh, extracted, I don't really need to extract it. So I'm going to hit cancel. All right, so we're going to exit this out. And I'm going to go ahead and open up my PlayStation 1 folder here. Now this is the emulator. And uh, all you have to do is just open this EPSXE folder. Now this is the program itself. And this is the latest one. And uh, if you get a security warning, just hit run. So once you have this emulator opened up, you should have something like this. You should already have the wizard guide opened up. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit config and uh, you're gonna choose the uh, SEPH 1001 USA, uh, the recommended bio. So you're gonna hit next. And for the drivers, the OpenGL drivers 1.78. And we're just gonna hit next. And for the sound, we're gonna leave it as default. And this one, make sure it's checked on this. And here we can configure our controllers. So I've got a PlayStation 4 controller. Really, any controller that is USB based will work on this emulator and you can also use PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Xbox One. Um, it'll recognize those controllers but all you have to do is come in here and pretty much configure the buttons and to do that um, say if I'm configuring the button X I'm gonna click here and then on my controller I'm gonna hit X and that'll just put the button uh, and then just do this for every single one and to make sure you've got it all right and once you have your controller configured, and you can also use the DualShock controller, it's totally up to you, but I stick with the original. And uh, once you're done configuring your controller, hit next and done. Now we're going to need to configure the video. And uh, to do that, we're going to go to config video, and then make sure you've got this driver uh, pulled up here and it's checked, and uh, hit configure. Now once you hit configure, uh, you're gonna tick nice and once you have clicked nice it'll just pretty much put all the nice uh, settings for you so I like to set my resolution on uh, 720p as you can see right here but it's totally up to you my monitor is 1080p you can go in full screen and choose 1080p the games work no problem and uh, you guys it's totally up to you but if you guys want to use texture filtering I really don't use it that much, but um, if I were you, um, I would use the extended smooth sprites. But uh, for me, I'm just going to hit none. You guys can experiment with this stuff, but I highly recommend you tick nice and then start experimenting. But if it were me, I would just leave it the way it is. And um, you guys can mess around with the uh, resolution because I know many of you want to play your games in HD. So anyways, once you've got your settings configured this is pretty much what i use and uh, we're just gonna hit okay and we're done with that okay again all right guys so to actually get the games we're gonna need to head over to this website here now if you don't have any games for the ps1 um that's okay you can get them from this website and uh, all you have to do is uh, pretty much search the game you want or you can find some games here on the top downloads so i'm gonna search for Tomb Raider now I want to get Tomb Raider 4 and um, I've scrolled down here and I uh, found Tomb Raider 4 the last revelation and it tells me that this is for the PSX and now this is a PSP file so this will only work on PSP 
And uh, what we need to do is we need to um, pretty much we need to find a file that just says Sony PlayStation. Now this the PSP format it works on a PSP, but today we, we don't want to get that. So we're gonna have to look for ones that say Sony PlayStation. Now here it is. I found one that says Sony PlayStation. So this is Tomb Raider 4, The Last Revelation. It's an ISO file. So it works. So we're gonna go ahead and click this. And once you've clicked your game, all you have to do is go to number seven, download links, and hit download. And then we're gonna scroll down here and hit the direct download link. And we're gonna have to wait for 15 seconds. All right guys, so as you can see, it started to download. All right guys, so once the download has finished, go ahead and open up your game using WinRAR and go ahead and just extract the game to um, pretty much any location. Now, I like extracting my games to my documents. And as you can see here, I've already created a PS1 games folder in my documents. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this folder and as you can see here I've already got Tomb Raider 2 and Resident Evil 2 so all I'm gonna do is just take these two files and extract them to this folder here now this shouldn't take a long time alright guys so once the extraction has finished go ahead and go back to your EPSXE emulator and hit file run ISO and head over to where your game is located for me, it's in this folder. And once you've located your game, go ahead and load up the file. Now load up the file with the larger size, like this one right here, it's 720 megabytes. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit open. As you can see here, it's working. guys the game works as you can see here the graphics are pretty nice everything loads up and it is in working order now to exit the PlayStation emulator all you have to do is hit exit and that is pretty much it the PlayStation 1 emulator is now in sleep mode so if you want to continue on your game just hit continue and the emulator should continue to emulate the game and again exit hit exit and uh, if you want to just reset the game you can hit reset and uh, it can reset the game again but we're gonna go ahead and hit exit and that'll exit the PlayStation 1 emulator and go ahead and shut it down by just hitting exit and that is pretty much it guys it's really that easy to get a PlayStation 1 emulator now I do have some tips for you guys if you guys are having some problems or issues you can try a different driver for the video I'll have a link in the description to a different driver uh, because I know some games tend to not work on certain drivers but most of the games that I've tried if not all have worked on the driver that I use uh, for my personal uh, game so anyways guys uh, if you have any questions uh, feel free to post a comment below and I'll be sure to help you out I'll reply I reply to all comments on my video anyways guys I'll see you in the next one